Hello bookish friends and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we are starting a 72 hour reading challenge vlog. Excuse me, sir. You want you to say hi? No? Nope. Okay. All right, let me set you down here and we'll chat. Now that we're all situated, let's chat about what this vlog is gonna be. It is Thursday, March 14th at about 6.30 and Chris left today to go on a bachelor trip and he's gone till Sunday. So I, so I figured what a perfect time to do a 72 hour reading challenge and see how many books I can get read this weekend. And I have a little bit of a TBR, but it's probably gonna be like a mood read type of thing. Sorry if you can hear Louie eating in the background. The first book I wanna read is Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. This is the first book in the Magnolia Parks universe. I have heard so much about this and I wanna see what the hype is about. I got all the books in the series for my birthday in February and then I just recently bought myself the last and final book. And I've heard that this is super fast paced. So I was like, I feel like I could read this quickly. And I heard that this series is like super addicting. So it may be one of those things where this book becomes my personality and I completely abandon the rest of my TBR to read the series. So this is number one on the docket. The next book I wanna read this weekend, and I know I will get this done, no problem, is Killing Stalking Deluxe Edition number five by Kugi. This is a very dark graphic novel. I have read the first four volumes and loved it. And then this one just came out, I don't even know, relatively recent, maybe September of last year. And volume six is coming out in, hmm, I don't know, maybe August of this year? Oh no, it comes out April 23rd. So I gotta catch up before the next volume comes out. To quickly talk about what this series is about, it's basically about this guy, Yoon Bam, who is obsessed with Sang Woo and essentially breaks into his house and realizes that Sang Woo is not who he thought he was and it gets real deep, real dark, real gory, real fucked up. So. Definitely look at trigger warnings if you're sensitive to certain things because this, this gets pretty intense. So I'm not gonna talk about what this one's about too much because obviously it's the fifth book in a series and I don't wanna spoil it for anybody that is eventually gonna read, but this is like a good palate cleanser. So if I finish this, I'll probably read this or if I read some of this and I'm like, all right, I think I need a break. I can quickly read this because I can read this in like a sitting because it's a graphic novel. That is number two on the docket. This next book is kind of like a potential book if I can finish those other two and that is Honey by Isabel Banta. Banta? I don't know. I actually received a email from Celadon Books asking if I was interested in doing like a read together with this book and they would obviously send me the, co the early copy for it but unfortunately I can't do the read together and they gave me the option if I couldn't do the read together if I still wanted the book sent to me and they were kind enough to send it to me so this is an addictive coming of age story that follows the meteoric rise of pop star Amber Young as she navigates fame and self-discovery in the late 90s and early 2000s so this is basically following a girl as she gets famous and dealing with all the freaking crazy shit that goes on in Hollywood so very excited to read this I did get this sent to me by Celadon it comes out June 2024 and I literally can't wait one I love this cover but this is like my type of story like I love learning about like celebrities in their coming up stage of life so this is a potential and if I don't feel like reading this then I think what I'm gonna do if I do finish both of these books which I hope I can I will probably pick a prompt out of my TBR jar and read that book whatever comes out of that that is my little TBR for the next 72 hours but I have a couple little other updates that I wanted to talk about so I got this DJI camera. This is the Pocket 2. Is that what it's called? The Osmo Pocket 2. And Chris got me this for Christmas and I love this little thing. Like, look at how tiny and cute this little camera is. And this big one would focus. But I just got the micro uh, tripod for it. So I think I'll definitely use this more now that I have the little stand and I can easily just like place it. So my hope is to use that for like more stuff, I guess. I don't know if I wanted to completely replace my big camera, but We'll see. I am definitely gonna use it for like B-roll and, and it's like beautiful right now in upstate New York. Like today was 67. So I'm hoping that this weekend will be nice so I can go out in the gazebo and get some reading done because I absolutely love doing that. Like I can't wait till Saturday morning when I can wake up, make my coffee and then just sit in the gazebo for however many hours I want. I'm probably gonna use that to go out there, but I do have a lot of work I need to do tomorrow. I'm working from home tomorrow and I, will not have a car because I need an oil change. I'm like a couple hundred miles over, so that's fine. But I have a lot of computer work and then I have a training at noon. So 
We'll be busy tomorrow during the day and then once my training is over, I won't really have much to do. So I'll probably get a lot of reading done then. We'll see what we can do. Saturday is probably, tonight and Saturday are probably gonna be when I read the most. But Saturday night, I'm having some girls over where their significant others are also on the same trip as Chris. So we're all gonna have a little girls night. Before we get into any reading, I have a little Barnes and Noble haul. Does it say Barnes and Noble? It's back over here. I have a little Barnes and Noble haul. I got a couple more books, two of them being part of the Steel Brothers series, of course. I got books five and six, and that completes the three books uh, that follow Jonah Steel. So maybe we'll pop one of these in my TBR because these read so fast because they are so freaking good. If you haven't heard me talk about these books, I have a reading vlog where I read so many of these books because this series literally just took over my life in the month of February. So we may be able to throw one of these in there. I don't know, we'll see. And then obviously I'm on like a bit of a manga graphic novel kick and <laughs> These books were like $15 each and I needed to spend, a, I think $40 to get free shipping on Barnes and Noble. So I picked up Alice in Borderland. I know there's a show about this and Chris watched the show and loved it. So I was like, let me see what the hype is about. Everybody loves this series. I'm definitely getting more into like graphic novels, mangas, but these ones are weird because you read them like back to front. So that's gonna throw me off a little bit. Like this is the front cover but this is where the book starts on the back. So that's, oh wait, no. <laughs> the front cover, like these books are backwards. This is the front cover. Like this is a normal book and this is the other one. So they're a little backwards, but I think I'm just gonna have to get used to it. This gives me Squid Game vibes where like this kid goes and lives somewhere and wants to escape his life. But when he gets there, he has to like compete in this game and then like people are killed off. So I guess we'll see but this is not gonna be part of the TBR unless I want it to be. I don't know, who knows? <laughs> I could end up not reading any of these books I just talked about and read something completely different, but it's my little book haul. And then we're gonna get started with Magnolia Parks tonight and see how much we can read. Like I said, it is 6.40 right now. I probably realistically won't actually start this until maybe 7, 7.15. Once I actually start it, I'll pop back in and let you know my start time so I can determine my end time on Sunday. But we're starting with Magnolia Parks. Hello friends. Okay, so it is 7-12. It's like Louis so quiet and then I start filming and he's like, oh, I gotta make noise. Louis, come here. Where's your mushroom? Where's your mushroom? Now you want to be quiet? Watch. Now that I took the camera off him, he's probably going to be quiet. Anyways, I am filming on my new DJI camera, so I hope the quality and the sound is good. It's so easy to use this little camera, and it's so nice. But the screen is, like, legit this big. But, anyway, I am officially going to start this timer for 72 hours. Like I told you, he's just nuts. I'm going to start officially at 7.30. This goddamn dog. Oh, you got your donut. Um, I'm going to start at 7.30. Obviously, you saw I'm starting with Magnolia Parks. I got my Cotswold & Co. Uh, acrylic bookmark. It says, sorry, I was reading. LOL. I'm watching That's So Raven. Louie! <laughs> um, watching That's So Raven. And tonight, Era's Tour comes out on Disney+, Plus, and I'm 100% going to watch it. I am a turned Taylor Swift fan. I was never a Swifty growing up and. Honestly, until her Eras tour, like the video started surfacing online, that's when I really was like, okay, she's a badass. Like, she is awesome. So that's like kind of when I started liking her. And I'm not a Swifty by any means. I like a handful of her songs. I don't like every single song. And I'm not the type of person, at least right now, that's going to like sit and listen to her entire album. But I do want to watch the Eras tour movie. So that doesn't come out till 9 p.m. And it's three and a half hours long. So it's going to be late night. Until that happens and that comes out, I want to see how much of Magnolia Parks I can read. It gives me like an hour and a half until that comes out. If I start at 7.30. So I'm going to sit here for the next 15 minutes and give myself some time to scroll on TikTok. And then at 7.30, we will officially start this. And I will probably come back in for like a talking checkup at like right before 9 or right at 9 and tell you how much I've read in the hour and a half that I'm giving myself. So I'll see you then. nine o'clock i have 
done terrible the last hour and a half. I've literally only read 24 pages, which is not great. I am really liking this so far. I love how Magnolia and BJ are so in love, but like can't be together for whatever reason, which I know I will find out. People who have read the series are probably like, girl, you don't even know the half of it because I'm so uh, such a newbie to the series. But I am going to put the Taylor Swift Eras concert on and I don't know if I'll read during it because like I said, I don't know all of her songs and like the songs that I don't know are like, uh, probably just like read through them, but I feel like I'm going to get so entranced in the whole like setup of her show that I probably won't end up reading much, but a girl can dream. So let's, let's just watch the Eras tour and I'll come back later tonight when it's like 1 a.m. And I have finished the Eras tour or have a reading update, either or. It is now Friday morning. I have been busy doing computer work. I dropped my car off to get an oil change this morning. And now I have been sitting at my computer for quite some time now. And I think it's time for a break. So I figured I would do a reading check-in. I kind of epically failed last night and only read to page 60. But in my defense, like this book has a lot of words on each page. Like this is a dense book. It's 430 pages and like there's a lot of writing on each page. So it's not like the font is big. Like this font is kind of tiny, but I am really enjoying this. I can totally see why people get so hooked on this story and this series because it is just straight up toxic, but like you love the toxicness of it, but it, it just doesn't even make sense. Like Magnolia and BJ are basically like faded mates and they dated for a long time and were like totally head over heels for each other. And BJ cheated and like totally ruined Magnolia's heart. So now they like do things to piss each other off and they're constantly like bickering, but they're always like sleeping together, but not like doing it. They're just sleeping in the same bed because they just feel comfortable around each other and they just don't want to be apart from each other. Magnolia gets mad when BJ like sleeps with other women and BJ gets mad when Magnolia is with other men. Like it's just straight up toxic, but I love it. Oh. I love it. I want this to be a movie. And I'm literally only 60 pages in and already saying that. But I also followed... Oh, what the heck is the name of it? Let me go to it. Which, if you are just starting the Magnolia Park series or you are, like, in the middle of reading it, you should totally follow the MPU Closet on Instagram. I will leave the Instagram name below. Because this Instagram makes, like, outfit pictures for every single chapter. And let me tell you, I pulled this up. And, like, as I was reading, I was also going through the closet. And it just makes it so fun to, like, see what they're talking about. Like, Magnolia was talking about the dress that she was wearing to her mom's fragrance launch party. And, like, the Magnolia Parks closet has it. Like, they literally have all of the outfits that these characters are wearing. And it says like quotes that they're talking about when they're reading it. And it says Magnolia Parks chapter 13 and what the outfit is. Like it is just fantastic. Like look at that. So it's so fun to read the book and have this in tandem so you can see exactly what's going on in this book. So I don't know, I'm loving it. I really am. And I just wish I could read a little bit faster. <laughs> like I said, it's Friday. It's literally only 10, 15 a.m. And I've already done a decent amount of work for the day. I think I'll be able to get some reading done today. It's also super rainy and crappy out. And I was like talking about how the weather I think is going to be beautiful this weekend. Which I still think it's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow and Sunday. Which is fine. Because I'm going to be stuck inside anyways doing a bunch of computer work sporadically throughout the day. So I don't want it to be nice out so I don't feel guilty about it. But rainy days call for sitting on the couch and reading. So I'm hoping I can get a lot of this read. What did I say it was? 430 pages. So the halfway point would be page 215. So I would have to read this much, which I would have to read this much more, this chunk in the middle. So I think that's going to be my goal for today is to get halfway through this book. <laughs> Probably a little overambitious, but also not really because... It's rainy and crappy and 
when I do read this, like when I put my phone down, I can like sit here and read for hours because it's so addicting. But I also was watching the Eras tour last night. And it was so freaking good. Oh my god. I am totally a hardcore Taylor Swift fan now. And I fully admit that I was completely turned around on her from her Eras tour. Like she is just unreal. The fact that she sings for three and a half hours just is so amazing because most performers will make you spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on their tickets. And then they perform for an hour and a half. And it's like, so I just spent that much money for you to perform that much. And I love that she like actually makes people's money worth it. Like the fact that she sings songs from every single album just makes me so happy. I am petitioning for Justin Bieber to do an Eras tour. If Justin Bieber did a tour like this, I would spend my entire paycheck slash my entire salary for the year to get a front row ticket because I love him that much. How people are with Taylor Swift, that's how I am with Justin Bieber. Like Justin Bieber is the one and only for me. If I could only listen to one artist for the rest of my life, it would a thousand percent be Justin Bieber. No question about it. And I have gone to two Justin Bieber concerts and I've sat on the floor both times and just like, oh my God, it was the best fucking nights of my life. But if he went on tour again, I would sell my soul for a ticket. And then I would love if he would make it into a movie like Taylor Swift did because then I could just watch it as many times as I want. And I'm not lying when I say I would probably watch it every single day of my life. But anyways, <laughs> I don't know how we just got on that tangent. I'm also really loving this DJI camera. It's so much easier to use than my Canon camera, which this is my Canon camera. It's a Mark, the G7X Mark II or something like that. And I love this camera, but it can be a hassle to like set up and like set up the tripod. Where's this? I literally just put it down, turn it on, press record. Really liking this camera. And I think the quality is pretty good. Olivia Rizzolatte also has one and she has been using it more for her videos. And I don't really notice any difference in the quality. I may get the external mic that you can get with a DJI camera. I don't know. Uh, I'll look later when I'm on my personal laptop. But I might get the external mic and see if I'd like that. But I don't know if I want to like have to think about moving a microphone around with me. I just, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to take a little break from work now. See what I can get done reading wise. My goal for today is definitely going to be to get halfway through this, which would be page 260. And then maybe finish it tomorrow. If I can get further, great. If I can't, I'll be happy with just getting halfway through this. LOL at me in the beginning of this video saying, oh my God, like I'm going to read three books. You bitch, shut up. I didn't realize this book was so like dense in context on pages and words on pages, but it is what it is. All right. I'm going to stop rambling because I just talked for seven minutes and I'm going to hate myself when I go to edit this video, but I'll see you later. <laughs> Not sure how this angle is gonna work because I have you propped up on the couch and I don't know how far away I actually am because the screen on this camera is so damn tiny. But I have a package and I wanna open it on camera because it's a book sleeve from Happy Go Lovely Sleeves, now known as, I think they're called the Bestie Book Sleeves now. And I can only show you one of them because the other two are for a present and I don't want that person to see. I don't, oh! Yep, see, there goes my camera. All right, let's just do it this way. I don't know if the person I bought them for watches my videos or not, so I can't show them. But I saw this pre-order in this design and I instantly knew I needed it. Look at how cute this book sleeve is. It's literally such cute little bows. Like how stinking adorable is that? And it's like a really pretty pink on the inside. I love this. I think this is my first time getting a book sleeve from Happy Go Lovely Sleeves. I don't really know. Actually, no, it definitely is my first time, but I don't, this is one of her pre-order patterns and I think it's in the style Abigail. Yeah, so I ordered this in the beginning of February and just got it and just in time because I needed it next weekend for a birthday present, but I am obsessed with this. How freaking cute. And then it must have came with like a free book corner, which this is basically just like a bookmark that you put on the corner of your book and it holds your spot like that. See? And it like holds your spot on the page. Cute. This is adorable. I love this. So got that. And I got two others, but I can't show you because they're for a birthday present. But I'm gonna continue to read. I'm now on page 
77 chapter 10 and we just we're chugging along slowly but surely this is just a dense book like there's not many there's a lot of words on each page and i know i keep saying that but seriously but i'm gonna keep reading i have a work training in four minutes that i am gonna hop on and then i will probably be back later today i definitely want to read a lot more before i come back and update you maybe i want to get to page like i don't know I want to not update every 20 pages or every 10 pages because that's just going to get so repetitive. So I'm going to hopefully start to read a little bit faster now, but I'm going to stop talking and I'll see you in a couple hours. Okay. Hi friends. It is now 5 p.m. I have done quite a bit of reading. I have read to page 144, so I've read this much. I've got this much more to go. This hair looks flat. Um, I am watching the newest season of Ink Master because it's finally on Amazon Prime. I'm thoroughly enjoying the new season. I ordered myself some sushi, and I'm going to go pick that up in like 30 minutes. I'm going to come home and chill out for the night. Um, that's pretty much all I got. I am loving this book. These two are so toxic, it's like not even funny, but like they are so in love and I love how much they love each other. It's like the total situation of they don't want to be with each other, but they also don't want each other to be with anybody else. And I love that. I definitely think I will get to my goal of reading half of this tonight. What did I say? 2.15? Like I legit have that much left to read to get halfway through and I definitely think I'll read more than that. Considering I stayed up till 1.30 a.m. last night, I'll probably stay up till 1.30 a.m. tonight too. I can really focus. I can probably read way past the half point mark. So that's what we're going to shoot for. But I'm going to get a little bit of reading done before I have to go pick up my food. I'm going to pick up my food, eat, and then we're going to read for the rest of the night. Dinner is secured. We got some special rolls. This is like a shrimp tempura and then this is some sort of crab or something. I don't even know. Some vegetable fried rice and I even treated myself to a McDonald's Diet Coke. So I'm gonna sit here and eat and watch the new season of Ink Master. Checking in at midnight, so technically, oh, it's 12.30. Technically, it is now Saturday, March 16th. I just hit the halfway point of Magnolia Parks, and reason being, I got so suckered into TikTok and social media, and I actually went on a little bit of a cleaning spree, so didn't read as much as I wanted to, but I think I'm going to go upstairs now, and maybe read another chapter or two and see if I can get a little bit farther in this. I'm really enjoying this, but... It's almost like how many times can these two say that they love each other and then like go and be with somebody else? Like I know it's a toxic relationship and that's how it works, but like how many times am I going to read this over and over? And that's not to say that I'm not enjoying it, but it's kind of like, can these two just shut the fuck up already and just be together? They're currently on a trip with like their main friend group and Magnolia's boyfriend boyfriend tom it's also giving me like the latest season of you vibes where like it's just a very toxic rich friend group that cares a lot about like paparazzi media status society all that kind of stuff so it's giving me those kind of vibes too which honestly i'm not mad about i am enjoying this and i'm definitely gonna try to finish this tomorrow if i can i'd love to read mm, i'm yawning so maybe i'm getting a little sleepy i would love to read maybe another like 20 30 40, 50 pages. We'll see. I am enjoying this. I'm going to go upstairs now and I will probably be back for check-in in the morning. It is Saturday morning. I am sitting out in the gazebo. I have my coffee. I have water. I have my book and we're gonna have a little reading session. So still feel the same way about this book. I'm now on page 226 and yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I'm pretty sure 
Magnolia and Tom are like hardcore falling in love and Tom's friend Gus like knows it but also like she still loves BJ so but I'm gonna have a little reading session and then I'm, I'm hoping I can finish this today it's about what time is it it is about 10 18 a.m. I have some of my friends coming over later today because all of our men are on the same trip so we're gonna have a little girls night and so I have until about probably like 5 p.m. I told him to come at like 6 or 7 so I have till like 5 or 6 to like attempt to finish this and I think I can do it I don't know though if I can like not be on my phone today I can definitely do it but if I'm on my phone then I can't do it so I might read Killing Stalking Deluxe Edition Volume 5 after lunchtime just so I can say I finished two books for this vlog so it's not literally just me reading one single book when I thought I was gonna be able to read three. So, if I didn't sit on my phone so much yesterday, I totally could have finished this, but I had like an hour or two where I was just on my phone fucking around. So, but yeah, I'm gonna have a little reading session. We're gonna enjoy the sunshine. It's a little chilly out, but you know what? When you're from New York and it's nice out and it's not freezing cold, like you take advantage and you sit outside when it's not that warm out. And yeah, but yeah, we're gonna have a little reading session. Okay, I am currently on chapter 46, but the last chapter, which was 45, obviously. Oh, wait, no. Nope, not right. Chapter 44 in the dressing room with BJ and Magnolia. Like is, that, like, is that how this whole series is? It's just, like, a big tease of them two getting together. That's kind of fucked up. But I also love it. Obviously, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And if this is how this whole series is going to be, and they don't get together until, like, book five, I'm going to be very angry, but also, like, angry in the best way possible, you know? It's six o'clock. I'm going to keep reading. I'm hoping to get, I don't know. If I could finish this tonight, that would be great. But I don't know how realistic that is because my friends are coming over in, like, an hour. Oh shit, I gotta make cookies and strawberries. Damn. I'm gonna read till 6.30 and then start making whatever I gotta make. We'll see if we can get more reading done tonight. I will definitely finish this tomorrow and then I will definitely finish Killing Stalking because that's a graphic novel and I can finish that really quickly. So at least I'll have read two books for this vlog. But I also need to edit the hobby vlog for March, which is going to go up Monday before this video. So maybe I will finish this, edit the video, because it's not that long of a one. It was kind of a shorter one. Maybe I'll make sure that tomorrow morning I wake up and don't do anything until I finish this. Edit the video and then I will read the graphic novel. From there, I can maybe see how much else I can read. I have until 7 p.m. to finish my 72 hours of reading which is perfect because that's pretty much when Chris gets home I'm gonna keep reading and I will be back with an update either tonight maybe or tomorrow morning <laughs> Morning, friends it is now Sunday I did not read that much yesterday I'm like epically failing at this and I definitely had a moment where I was like should I just like scrap this video and not post it because I literally have only read one book but then I was like no why would I do that because a video is a video and I'd rather have maybe something where I'm only reading reading one book than nothing at all and obviously with these videos like you set a game plan for them and things don't always go the way they're supposed to blah, blah, blah whatever so we're just gonna keep going but I am going to attempt to finish Magnolia Parks in the next hour I have an appointment to go to at 12 to for a waxing <laughs> And I want to finish this before I go there so I can go there, come back, and then my goal is going to be to read Killing Stalking when I come back, edit my hobby blog that I have to edit, and then see what I can start on another book. And hopefully we can read a little bit of another book by 7 p.m. So I have until 7 to do this. It's 10.30 right now. I have an appointment at 12. I am on page 338, so I have less than 100 pages left. 92 to be exact. 
and it's beautiful out so i'm gonna go sit outside in my gazebo after i make my coffee and we're gonna get some reading done You guys, I finished. Holy shit. That, ow, I just hit my bunny bone. That ending was in fucking sane. Like, I don't even have words. So, I'm gonna keep this brief because I just, I'm still flabbergasted by that ending. And I just, I don't know. I am gonna give this a four and a half star and it's not gonna get a half a star because I feel like this did not need to be this long. I don't think it needed to be 430 pages because a lot of it was basically just BJ's and Magnolia's like inner thoughts of, I love this man so much, but I wanna hurt him. And I love this girl so much, but I like hurting her because then it makes us feel glad they're blah, blah, blah. I just feel like that was a little too much. Like there was too much of it. And I would have been okay with like, even a hundred pages less of it. I feel like this focused more so on their inner thoughts than rather than like a plot line, but there was still obviously a plot in this, which I liked. And honestly, the only reason it's getting the extra half star, I was gonna do four star, but then the ending happened and I was like, all right, that's a 4.5 because that ending was insane. And I legit never guessed that that was a thing. I am definitely gonna continue on with the series. I don't really like that it the next book follows Daisy Haight's perspective. Like, I just wanna be back with BJ and Magnolia. I don't like that I have to read one more book till I get to the third book, which goes back to Magnolia and BJ's perspectives, but I'll probably end up eating my words on that one and being like, yes, bitch, you did love that and you like them better than Magnolia, but regardless, I finally finished this and I just, the ending really blew my mind. So now, we're gonna go right into Killing Stalking Deluxe Edition Volume 5. And we're gonna sit here and read this. I'm hoping it's only gonna take me like 35, 45 minutes to read this. It's exactly 4.01 right now. And I'm doing great because I started laundry and I edited and I'm currently exporting my hobby vlog. I have the thumbnail all ready to go. So that way when the video is done exporting, I can just upload it to YouTube. It took so much shorter than I thought it was going to. And I didn't think it was going to take that long because it's not that long of a vlog, but I just, I don't know. I kind of was like dreading editing it for some reason. I'm going to read this and we'll see how quickly we can get it done. And I will check back in. Okay, book two down within an hour. It's now five. This was not my favorite in the series. And honestly, this one was kind of bad compared to the other ones. If you don't know what this series is about, it's basically a really deep, dark manga about a stalker and a killer. And they have a really fucked up relationship and it's just so bad. And this one was kind of just like a filler almost. The books have been very up and down for me. Like it's either a five star or three star. I'm going to give this one a two star because I just, I don't know. I did not really like this one. It was kind of like, all right, do we need this? But again, I feel like the odd numbers are like fillers of like stuff that happens in between the really crazy shit that happens in the series. So I'm thinking book six, which comes out this year, will probably be really crazy. And that's when like all the really effed up stuff will happen. But I'm gonna give this two stars and it's five o'clock right now. I think Chris lands in like, I think his next flight. His flight leaves at 527 and it's really only like a 40 minute flight. So he should be home by like 630-ish after like actually getting off the plane. 
And I want to make him some French onion soup because he loves French onion soup and I love making soup. And he was just on a bachelor trip, so he's probably not going to feel too great coming home. And what better thing to come home to than soup? So I think I'm going to take a break from reading right now and make the French onion soup. And then after that's done and it's kind of, I'm just like waiting for him to get home, I might start a third book, which I don't know what that third book is going to be yet. I was originally going to do Honey by Isabel Banta, which is an art copy that I got. And I still might, I don't know, it's going to depend on what I feel like doing, what I feel like reading when I actually like go to sit down and start another book. But we shall see. I only have a couple other books left on my TBR for the month of March. I've been doing great with my TBR this month. I only put a couple books on it to make it realistic, but I, um... I don't know what I'm gonna start next. I will come back when I know what that's gonna be. Okay, hello friends. So I'm in the process of cooking the soup right now and it's 6 p.m. Chris is gonna land in like probably the next 20 minutes. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna end this vlog here. Why make myself go the extra hour when I know I'm not gonna read in the next hour? So we're just gonna end it here. But we did have a successful weekend. I finished two books. One being Magnolia Parks and the other being Killing Stalking by Kugi. So very excited to have finished both of these books. I'm definitely going to continue with both of the series. Sorry, Louie's outside parking. I'm definitely going to continue with both series. The Magnolia Parks was a four and a half, so I can't wait to read the next book, even though it follows Daisy Hates, but whatever. And volume six, I'm like less excited for because I didn't like this volume at all, but you know what, it's whatever. This was definitely not as successful and productive as I wanted it to be. I totally got suckered in it in my phone multiple times, but you know what, it's fine. I totally like relaxed and reset this weekend and it was exactly what I needed. So that's like the most important thing, so. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, definitely make sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you've read either of these and what your thoughts are. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.